we go. Alright, what is up, Karatex? Welcome to the GTA 6 trailer, Carmi, in GTA 5, because obviously we don't have GTA 6 yet. So, basically what we did for this meet is we put together a list of all the cars that I and the community spotted in the GTA 6 trailer, even the most difficult to spot cars I sort of figured out from like two pixels <laughs> we, we figured out most of them um, and yeah we put together a list and that was a list that was allowed for this meet now obviously some of them are very easy to spot and very recognizable the famous tulip which I, I'm assuming is Jason's car um, we have the d10 from the ocean drive scene um, the comet retro from like the I think that was the, the police uh, with the dirt bikes and stuff scene um, so you know, various, various scenes that you see all these cars in, in the background or in the, in the in just in the very front part. Um, the Cheetah Classic, I think that's probably... I, I, other than the Tulip, I think the Cheetah Classic is the most iconic car from the trailer. I mean, that was like right there in that, in that one ocean drive scene. There's a Russo too, even though we only saw a small portion of it. The Furia. What's up, what's up? Yeah, a, a lot of people are concerned that, you know... A lot of the cars are just like recycled from GTA 5. They're not. I mean, the general exterior is, but on most of the cars, you can see there's a lot of differences. You know, uh, there's like different rear bumpers, different front bumpers, and obviously the interiors are brand new on, on all of them, even though it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but, you know, I, I, I doubt we're going to see any of these current interiors we have here in the next game. They're going to be all new. Someone killed you before the stream. Oh, that was Emperor. Yeah, we just, were just messing around. There better be no hidden dated textures. No, no, no. Everything's going to be polished up and nice. Um, the, the, the only thing that's kind of like reused is like the general styling and the exterior, but I think everything else is new. Um, you can even tell the lighting's been improved. Like on the Furia shot, you can tell the lighting's been significantly improved there too. Um, just most of the cars have a lighting is improved. And the tulip too, there's a lot more detail in that one scene you can tell. Um, it just that game is gonna be ridiculous. Um, but we are about to, we're about two years away, so <laughs> it's a uh, we're a ways away. But at least we can enjoy GTA 5 for like the last two years. Because let's be honest, after six comes out, most people aren't gonna touch five again. They've been playing it for ten years, so I mean, it's not most people are they're not gonna go back to five um, for a while. So. Or probably ever, for the most part. So, yeah, I I am gonna miss it. It's kind of bittersweet because you know we at the same rate we're annoyed at the ten years, but we're also gonna miss the game because we've been playing it for ten years. But one one six one six comes out, it's just gonna be it's gonna be insane. Rip GTA Five, yep. Rip GTA Five indeed. No DLC trailer yet, right? I know. I was so shocked about that. We didn't get a trailer or a newswire uh, yesterday or, or Thursday. I thought for sure we were going to get something. We usually do. Um, but I guess Rockstar doesn't want to kind of take away the hype from their announcements on 6. So I'm, 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 I'm guessing that um, you know, we're probably going to get some info on Monday at this point. Because we're, we're like, what, three days away from the DLC? Uh, depending on, on what time zone you're in, about two days away. And... We, we still don't have a name or a confirmed release date of the update. We don't even have a confirmed release date on paper, other than the fact that we know when the event weekends and the GTA Plus benefits end, but we don't... Rockstar hasn't officially announced that the DC, DLC is coming out on the 12th, so... Kind of weird, but, um... I, I guess on Monday they're probably going to give us a newswire, and that's probably it. At this point, I don't think we're going to get a trailer. They don't want to put that trailer right above, you know, their new baby, the, the GTA 6 trailer that's on their YouTube channel at the very top and all that stuff. I think they're just going to do a, a little news wire and that's it on Monday, my guess. Uh, but, with, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start reviewing the GTA 6 trailer cars that are in GTA 5, which is literally most of them. I mean, how many new, actual new cars were in the trailer? The PMP 700. The what was the other one? There's the Ram Dually. There's a there's the Aventador. 
there's like a Chevy Sonic looking car, which some people debate that it's a golf, a, a golf or a Chevy Sonic, some type of new hatchback. We can all we can all agree on that. Uh, the Chevy Stepside, the G Wagon we already have in games, so it's just an updated one. Um, but okay, the Chrysler 300, which is the PMP 700. Yep. So I mean, like four cars is pretty much all the Dodge Caravan. Oh yeah, that one was spotted. So I mean, I think it's less than five. We think we can all agree on that. Less, less than five cars were featured in that entire trailer. I was a bit disappointed about that, not gonna lie. I thought we were gonna see, like, a ton, you know, pretty much every AI car in traffic be new. That's what I was I was assuming. <laughs> but it just turned out to be most GTA 5 cars, which, honestly, I'm not, a, I'm not upset about. Because that's gonna make the cars that you buy from the websites, I think, a bit more special. Um, you know, a lot of the cars that are not street cars. I think all those are going to be new for the most part. Well, at least hopefully. I guess we'll see. Oh, the Infinity. Yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of hidden little cars here and there. Oh, the Oceanic. Yep, yeah, that one too. Wide body charger? There was no wide body charger in the trailer. I, trust me. I'm Mr. Mopar. I, <laughs> I would have seen it. There was the Hellfire, but the no, no wide body, no wide body charger. All right. Yeah, the new police cars, but that's really just the same car with a livery and some lights. We need an LFA in six, hopefully. They're gonna record the car. Yeah, they're definitely gonna do new exhaust notes for sure. They're not gonna use any of the exhaust notes. I doubt that that we have that we, that we have in GTA Five. I doubt they're gonna use any of them. Maybe the XA21, just the really good ones. But all the recycled ones, I think, are gonna be gone. All right. So uh, we're here in at the beach. GTA 5 so right here to Pearl Beach Let's see over there so we got all the cars lined up here on the bike path usually we have these meets in the parking lot at the end like right over here um, or at the houses along here but I thought it'd be really cool if we do like a single file line on the bike path here kind of like the ocean drive um, scene from the trailer where we had they had all the cars lined up on one side um, so I thought that would kind of look cool. Plus, when you line them up all single file, looks like, looks like there's a lot more than what there really is. <laughs> but, um, all right. First car here is mine. I brought the D10, of course, featured in the Ocean Drive scene. I did mine like a rapid blue um, style reference. There's a color that Emperor made for me, so big shout out to him. Um, this color just turned out insane. Did the blue on blue with the um, concave mercies, all the little carbon bits. Love this car. Continuing, we got Shaggy. So he brought the famous Tulip, which we're guessing is Jason's car. Uh, so red with the black stripes. He did the same exact plate from the trailer as well, which is awesome. He's got the outfit like Jason. That That's just sick. Feb, you want to come over here? <laughs> and then we got Feb dressing like Lucia. Look at that. Look at how sick that is. That's awesome. That's, that's just, that's amazing. That's the shot right there absolutely fantastic i mean this this right here seeing this in five it just it gives me goosebumps man like <laughs> with the trailer and everything that's that, that's that's so cool absolutely love that so perfect build the red and black stripes and everything just fantastic just missing the bumper sticker let's put some bullet holes there in place no i'm kidding um all right continuing we got emp he brought the comet retro this was from one of these social media scenes, I believe. Let me double check here from my list. That was from the, yep, yep, it was the dirt bike scene. Yep, the dirt bike scene with the uh, dirt bag, dirt bikes thing. Ow, and he did that, okay. Wow, that's a hard punch, you just died. <laughs> He's got the white color retro, love the gold wheels, looks fantastic. His plate. <laughs> I'll give you that. That's funny. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 on that. I mean, it is it is a very thick car. I think this car has the, the widest wide body of any car in the game. Nothing beats the back end of this car. It, it, it's so... It, it, it's... Normally, I like, you know, a nice big wide body. A nice big booty, you know? But... <laughs> but uh, this is too much. It's too much, Rockstar. It's too much. <laughs> this car is just overdone. It's It's completely overdone. You know, it's way overdone. It's the all exactly the ultra wide body, a little overkill. I I I would love I would love a uh, a more normal looking big booty comet. Yeah, I should literally be the plate. They should, <laughs> they should 
they should give us a more normal looking one. Um, but we're probably gonna have to wait for. How did the one in six look compared to us? I think the wide body in the rear was was a little bit more narrow. It wasn't as wide as this. Let me actually go back to it here. I've compared a lot of these, but I didn't really look at the comet too much. I know Alan told me he he pointed out that the tail light was actually different. The tail light from the one in the trailer was like a full tail light, whereas this one has a little black part in the middle. So the other one looks a little more realistic. All right, on to the ASP. This is from the street takeover scene, I believe. Yep. From the street takeover scene. That's sick. Go back here. There we go. So, this is Febs. So, he did the, um... What's the name of this color again? I always forget. Ah. Uh, Mystic Chrome, yeah. <clears throat> Mystic Chrome style paint job. Absolutely beautiful. Got the color shifting. And he even has the plate. Yeah, you have the plate too. Mystic Chrome. Nice. Of the wheels such a good I mean it's such a cool car it really is always love the ASP and it's kind of it's kind of wild though when you think about it that they're adding in you know the new edge Mustang in that game just kind of strange I mean it's cool but it's a very strange decision <laughs> all right continuing we got the G-Wagon so this is only seen in one part in the trailer which is where the tulip is doing the little like drift um, and it's doing the U-turn with a drifting that and then you can see it in the background of the gun store uh, It was a black one. So this one was brought by rad Did a lime green with the off-roads Very cool Not bad not bad. It looks like a little toy <laughs> We desperately need an updated version of this this car just feels so old man We really need an updated version of the G-Wagon the one in the trailer have this little like lighting section to look kind of similar, but you can definitely tell it was updated, but it wasn't updated to the newest G wagon. It was updated to like the one in between this and that one. Kind of weird. Rockstar. Hopefully, I mean, I'm hoping. It feels like they're using a lot of recycled cars to kind of start the game off, and then I guess over the years, you know, they obviously want to save as many cars as they can um, for. Uh, future DLCs and stuff and they're not gonna give us all the new stuff at once because then what would we be waiting for you know they, they have to space out all the cars and all the content they want to give us now we got Dorn with the cheetah classic very nice this was from the ocean drive scene <clears throat> so cool dark blue tan interior love the wheels cannot go wrong with that obviously the one under the ocean drive scene was white and the one in that scene, the rear bumper was different. The tail lights were different. A few, there was a few little things that were different. It wasn't the same. Actually, I wanted to see this door too. I think the door. I think this this door was very similar. Let me go back to that scene here. We're comparing it live. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh yeah, it's a different door panel. Look at that. So it's got like the handle. Oh, actually no, it's very similar. Ah, well, no, it's a different door. Yeah, it's a different door panel. The door handle's different. Man, the textures are just ridiculous in that game. And then even the door latch, which the door latch is not even rendered here. It's, like, really crappy. When, when you compare it to something that's, like, you know, a whole new gen and everything that's, like, polished, it's just wild when you see the difference. It's kind of mind-blowing, to say the least. All right, very cool. Let's close that. Ah, oh, here we go in white. What a, that's funny. All right, Alan brought a white one. Red interior. Very nice. It's a me. Yes, it is. <laughs> Italian red. I like that. White with a red interior. You can't go wrong with white and red. Absolutely love that color combo. Very nice and classy build there. Got another white one. This one's owned by Alex. White with a chrome wheel. So Alan went with, I think, with the alloy. Yeah, alloy with the chrome lip. And then Alex went with the full chrome on the same wheel. His plate is... Oh my god, he did the same plate. <laughs> the same plate from the trailer. That's funny. Did they not have the same rear hatch? The same interior? But what if... They didn't have the same hatch, though? The one with the line going down the middle? The thick white line going down the middle? I didn't even, I didn't even bother to check the customization. I should have. But I don't, I don't even think... You know what? Let's look it up right now, because I don't... I actually want to know. It's more fun seeing it like this. Let's go to the hatch. Do they have it? 
Oh, they do. It's the stock one. It's the stock one. The stock one matches the one from the trailer. Oh. And the stock one matches up. But the duck toe is a little different, yeah. And then obviously the little... They changed the, the Grotty logo in that game. It looks more like a horse now or just a rabbit or whatever the, whatever they use. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but very cool. We got the Zeruso, of course, from the famous scene with the girl sitting in the passenger seat getting her photo taken. A lot of people think that's Lucia. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, is it her from that scene? I, I don't know. Now, there... Um, they did confirm though that the the white girl in the bikini is actually Lucia from that one scene where she's on the, the rooftop with the beach in the background or whatever. That is actually Lucia, which is kind of cool. I didn't expect that. I didn't you know they show her all in a prison outfit and stuff, but then you know thirty seconds later she's in a bikini on top of a skyscraper. Right? <laughs> kind of a weird transition, but okay. Um, then you got the so this is a portion of the Zeruso. So in the trailer, we did see it with a brand new interior because it had the ambient lighting. It was kind of like at this angle, kinda. Um, but it had like the it had ambient lighting and stuff. Actually, the ambient lighting. You know, what? I'm just gonna hop in here. The ambient lighting was. Let me go first person. If the game will let me. There we go. The ambient lighting looked to be in the. If you follow the the, the top curvature of the door panel here, and you go around. That, that line that kind of meets at the center of, of the uh, dash there, the ambient lighting was kind of tucked into that area. So I do wonder if they're going to maybe use a similar interior for this, or maybe just all new. So that's kind of interesting there. But he did the same red, which is cool. The Zeruso was a removed car, really? Really? Are you sure? Zeruso. Let me check. Oh yeah, was there a... Bruh. Look at Rockstar. Rockstar. Let's all clap for Rockstar. <laughs> Lesser used vehicles to streamline the browsing experience, and they put it in the GTA 6 trailer. Mind blown. Mind blown. I didn't. I didn't notice that at first. That's funny. That is funny. Rocks. Rockstar. Ah, Rockstar. Tad of ten. Tad of ten. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Continuing. Is the Fury removed? Good question. I don't think that one is removed. That one is not removed. That one is not removed. Why? Because it's very expensive. <laughs> the Sand King from San Andreas is in the trailer if you look closely. I didn't see that. We got light with the S2 Cabrio. So this, of course, was the blue one from the Ocean Drive scene. His plate is... Wait, is this yours light? The dark blue one? Oh, okay. His plate is porch. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Oh, that's a fantastic. Love the blue with the ten interior with the spindles. Looks fantastic. I'm glad this car made it. I mean, it was kind of obvious it was going to make it into the game. I mean, it looks so realistic to the real one. You know, it, it's, it's basically like the same thing. Except for this is a 992 base car. And then Rockstar used... A 991.2 style interior, um, which you couldn't really tell. The back of the seats looked very similar in the trailer, but the dash did. You can't really, you couldn't really see it in the trailer. So I do wonder if they're gonna update that to the newer one. Um, that's probably why they gave us this one in GTA 5 because I guess they took so long making the game that they just, they they had probably intended us to, intended to give us a 991.2 car but then the 992 came out and they were like oh crap what do we do with this interior we modeled you know what just add it into 5 so i think this car kind of gives you the best representation or feel of what to expect for interiors in 6 um and if that's the case i mean this just looks so realistic and then obviously with the new game engine and textures and all that it's 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 gonna be taken to like a, another a whole nother level, obviously. So that's kind of my my theory on that. But um, all right, continuing, we have the Hellfire. Obviously, bias. I love the Hellfire. <laughs> so the Hellfire was featured multiple times in the trailer. It was featured in the Ocean Drive scene. It was featured in Lime Green in a street takeover. I, I swear that wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> and then it was featured as a, a state trooper cop car in the one scene where the car is flipped over. Social media scene. So, got the metallic blue. 
Kind of reminds you of like Frostbite. You want, oh, a demon plate. Nice. So you got a demon with Hellcat wheels. <laughs> I, 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 but you know, you could change the wheels on it. So I mean, it does still kind of make sense. Love the carbon hood with the carbon roof. Kind of like a reference to the, um, the, the black roof and trunk color scheme. Nice, nice. Love it. I'm glad this car's making it into the game. The only thing, though, I did notice, we never saw the front end of the Hellfire. Uh, we did see the, the back end, but we never saw the front end. So I'm hoping maybe they do like a quad headlight setup, like the real one. That'd be, that'd be really sick. Alright, next up we got iRob. So he brought the Tulip M100. So Alan actually pointed this one out to me. When I first saw the, the donk driving into the Winwood area, you know, into the right side, like the little car meet looking area on the trailer, I thought it was a whole new car. But Alan was like, no, that's the Tulip. And I'm like, bro, I don't believe you. And I was looking at the back end of his car and I'm like, he's like, look it up. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll look it up, Alan. I looked it up and I'm like, Oh crap! Because like I told you, it's, it's literally the tulip. I didn't, I didn't believe it from this angle as a donk. It just, it doesn't register to me as a GTA 5 like a current existing GTA 5 car. So, that it's kind of wild, kind of wild. But um, we have the regular one here. I'm sure they're gonna have both in the game. They're not gonna just give us a donk, obviously. You know, it's probably just like an upgrade. But yeah, I love the color combo we went for this. Got like a metallic, like purple. And then you want like the Benny's wheels, white interior. This is probably glitched, right? Yeah, he's got the Yankton plate with the Benny's wheels glitched on there. This is not a Benny's car. Very nice. We got Midnight Rain in the jugular. So this is in the Ocean Drive scene. You can just vaguely for like two frames, you see the back of the jugular in orange. Um, kind of like at this angle right here. So he brought an orange one too, which is sick. Oh my god, look at what he dressed as! Midnight Ray dressed as the Joker, the Miami Joker guy from that one scene. From the, with the <laughs> That's funny with the orange just jumped out outfit and everything. That is, I love that. A plus for creativity. With the orange juggler to match, that's awesome. Love that dude. Very, very cool. Very cool. Nicely done. GTA 6 tryhard. <laughs> we got X Oxili with a. Ooh, I like the spec. Metallic green with the gold wheels with the tan interior. That is classy. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for this color combo. That's beautiful with the hyper fresh wheels. Super sick. Again, the S2 Cabrio from the Ocean Drive scene. Um, but obviously, you know, he brought his own build. Love this. Nicely done. Ah, the STX. So the STX is only seen in the trailer once, at least from what I remember. Um, I can double check here. Let me fact check myself. I have my list here. Let's see. It is seen here. Yeah. Wait, no, wait. It's seen as a normal car too? It's seen in the dirt bike, dirt bags, news footage. Oh, I forgot about that. Wow, okay, never mind. So it's seen as a cop car once, and then it's vaguely seen as a normal car as well. And the, the dirt bike um, newest footage scene. Okay, I forgot about that. So we, we do see the police variant and also a regular variant. Okay. So Cheese Plays brought this one. Got like the red SRT on the plate. Very nice. Cannot go wrong with a nice Hellcat build. It still annoys me that we don't have a, a wide body variant of this car in the game. Rockstar is like, you know what? I think. The community really wants a wide body for the Brioso 300. But but let's not give it to the uh, the Charger. Nah. Nobody 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 cares about this car. And there's no there's no like super popular wide body variant of it. Why would we add that? Why would we add anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining. <laughs> Continuing, we got Arima with the S2 Cabrio. This is a nice color, especially under this light here. This looks really good. Very nice. So they got the Segoy concave wheels in white. Okay. Very nice. Of course, again, from the Ocean Drive scene, the S2 Cabrio. Seems to be a very popular car this meet, the S2 Cabrio. Love it. Now, the next car. I did not notice this one at first. Most people in the community did not notice it either. The one who brought it to my attention was actually Light. <laughs> so, Light, 
he finally watched the trailer in 4K in a massive screen, and he started, like, analyzing every pixel. And he's like, hey, Mike, did you spot this car? I'm like, where the heck did you see this green car with, like, three pixels? <laughs> and then we're trying to figure out what it is. Um, and then we were between two cars. What happened there? Speechless. What happened? Oh, what happened? I don't know what happened there. I mean, if he wanted to blow stuff up, he would have done, you know, more than one, more than two cars, so that's probably an accident. Just recall your car, it's fine. Okay, where were we? We were at, oh, the GTO. So, like I was saying, um, so we were trying to figure out what it was. Light sends a picture, and then we were like, is it a coquette? Is it a schlag? And we weren't sure. So we were between those two. Um, and then I tried asking a lot of my other friends too. It was like, and the, for those of you wondering, the shot is at the um, where the Rockstar Presents screen is. Right when you see the, sh the scene with the beach, with the camera kind of panning up and you have the beach on the bottom. Right where it says Rockstar Presents, you'll see the green car on the left side. Kind of pulling up at like a roundabout area. So that's where you see the green car. And we couldn't figure out what it was. Um, so then I posted it in my Discord uh, chat in general. And I was asking, you know, some of you guys what you thought the car might be. And one guy said a Tally GTO. I'm like, hmm. So when I started comparing them side by side, and then I saw this this area here, like this this section, and then the big thing that stood out to me, this car has a very unique side skirt, the carbon side skirt. So the carbon side skirt on this car, it's kind of like flush here, right? But then it goes up like this. See how it goes like upward and then it goes back down again that's a perfect match to the green one from the trailer literally a perfect match um and then this kind of matches up too just how short this this back part is and then the long for it and it's literally it's just a gto so after a lot of analyzing we figured it out it is the itali gto the green car from that section so didn't notice that at first but there you have it <laughs> so gto de francisco brought it in yellow Got the Mercy wheels with the alloy color, Ferrari on the plate. Very nice. Can't go wrong with a yellow Ferrari. Rockstar loves Ferrari lately. I'm not sure why. We got the Roma in the last DLC, and then in this one they're giving us the. Oh, what else did we get in the last DLC? It was the yeah? It was the Roma with the HSW, and then before that it was another one. I forgot which one it was. Oh, the Italia RSX. That's right. What that was with the what DLC was that with? The RSX. That was with Kyle. That's right. So Kyle with Itali RSX, Stinger TT with Mercenaries, and now in this update they were getting the F8 Tributo. <laughs> Rockstar really likes Ferrari lately, and it's probably gonna have HSW. All right, we got Cap Car Ah uh, the Furia. So this is from that one scene with the girl um, and the Zaruso kind of like getting her picture taken, and there's a guy in the passenger seat of the Furia taking a a picture. Yeah, go ahead taking a picture and and he did the silver kind of like to match very sick love that this one's owned by cap car again i really hope that they do something with the doors on a lot of the cars in the game like they kind of make them a lot closer to the real life counterparts because they literally designed this koenigsegg door mechanism it's, it's identical to the one from the koenigseggs and they never put it in an actual koenigsegg kind of annoys me that rockstar did that the, all the entities have normal opening doors. <laughs> Even the recently added MT. Anyway. Continuing, we have Vox with the Phoenix. So this one was from... Actually, for, I actually forgot. I think this is from the street takeover scene briefly. So I'm just going to double check here. It's the Dine and Dash news footage. Okay, so one of the, the social media clips. Okay. Well, that's from that one. So he went for a bandit build black with a gold 1977 ah Trans Am bro that's sick based on my 1977 Pontiac Trans Am very cool black with a gold beautiful this is the same build I did on my um, well I mean it, the, the, the little trick for this car is to glitch the stock wheels in a gold but for some reason on the Phoenix the stock wheels have a forced tint on it so it's um when you put when you apply gold it's just gonna look brown 
So you actually have to apply a, you have to glitch a stock yellow, and this is the color you get. <laughs> you actually get gold when you apply stock bright yellow uh, wheels to the, the, the Phoenix stock wheels. So, a little tip there on the Phoenix. I still have them. We can't do it anymore because the iFruit app is gone. So unless you're using like glitches or mods, that's the only way you can glitch the stock wheel color on this car. But very cool. All right, the Jubilee. So this one is featured, this one's owned by Cal. So this one's featured in the um, the Winwood scene with all the graffiti and stuff. It's a green one on the right side after all the, you know, the lowriders and donks and stuff. Um, and you can spot in the trailer that it has a like light brown interior. And the light brown, um, if you want to pop the trunk, Cal, if you can, uh, it, it actually extends all the way to like the little like pillars on the inside of the trunk as well. So... I mean, that little detail there, that has me so excited because they're actually going to put detail like all the way through, even up into the headliner. I mean, think about that for a second. I mean, that's just... So in the trailer, it had the color going like even all the way to here. And this was all completely different. It had like a thicker um, like pillars here on the sides. It was just completely different. Obviously, Rockstar just added in the Jubilee and they just copy and pasted the 2013 interior. It just is what it is. But um, I get it now as to why they did it. They're obviously saving as many of the new interiors as they can for six. because. But they did give us one, which is obvious, the Granger 3600LX. And I think they did that on purpose just to prove how good they're getting with the interiors. You know, But um, love that. Or maybe they're just going to use the one from the newer Suburban. <laughs> Who knows? It's Rockstar. But love the build on here, like a whitish kind of bluish color with the spindles and stuff. Very nice. All right, we got the D10. This one's owned by Speechless. So he has uh, this is the one from like the Ocean Drive scene. Now that, that in that scene, I think it was like a dark blue. So he's definitely got the right color here. Bad boy in the play, nice. I love it. I do. I do like the fact that they're adding in the C8 into the game. I mean, it was obvious. There's been a coquette in pretty much every GTA. But um, I am a bit sad that I'm pretty sure that the uh, the C7, you know, the regular coquette we have in 5, is most likely not going to make it to the next game. That really makes me sad. You know, I hope Rockstar still adds it just for the fact that it's the last for an engine Corvette, you know. Uh, but I guess we'll see. I got really excited when I saw the um, that green car that I thought was a coquette or a schlagen at first. And then when we figured out it was a GTO, I was happy, but I was also kind of sad. I was like, oh, man, I got excited for the Coquette, the regular Coquette. We're probably not going to get it, you know? kind of sucks. Probably meant for GTA 6. Yeah, probably. Probably. With the blue interior and everything. Very nice build there. We have the Cheetah. The Cheetah and the Comet S2 are probably the two most popular car choices at this meet today. So this one's owned by Real Playa. So he went with a like a greenish color with a red interior with the white. I do like the white five spokes. I like the green exterior, but I th I do think the green. Cl I mean the red clashes a bit. You know what would look sick on this? A white interior with the white wheels with this color. That would look incredible. I think the red is just a bit. It kind of clashes a bit too much. Just my personal opinion, but I think a white interior with these white wheels would have looked ridiculous. Um, but the red just clashes a bit to me. Oh my god, his plate! Leonida! Oh, that's so sick! Uh, that's the state, of course, of uh, GTA 6. The entire state is a reference to the state of Florida. So Florida, Leonida. Oh, that's the kind of the reference there. Super sick. Love that. We got uh, Jack. So he brought the Hellfire in red. He's got the five-spoke wheels. These are the Tropos wheels, but these are the larger ones. So kind of like a demon reference. Got Speedy on the plate. Nice. Full wide body, of course. It, it, it is kind of strange how Dodge decided to go like half wide body in a Demon 170. Obviously, her weight savings. Um, but it'd be funny if Rockstar gives us an HSW of this car. And then imagine it chops off the front wide body. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be hilarious. Or if they give us like a drag racing hellfire or something. And then it deletes the front wide body. Kind of like a reference to that. But this car will be sick with HSW. I'd love to see a hellfire with HSW. Love that. Oh, it's raining now. We got thermal. Well, that's typical for Florida. So you know what? That works out in this case. 
He's got the blue S2 Cabrio with a dark red interior. Interesting. Bright blue with dark red. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's plate Vice 2025. Dude, that's a good plate. That's fantastic. A lot of creative plates at this main. Good wheel choice, too. Love the blue. Again, the S2 Cabrio from the Ocean Drive scene. Ah, this guy brought... Oh, this guy created it identical. So we got Shabs dressed as Jason. Love it. And he's got the green Jubilee from the Winwood scene. With the back trunk open. That's sick, dude. That's awesome. The same wheels to which are the stocks. You, we kind of saw it at like this angle from far away. Hopefully that kind of revives some uh, some of you guys who kind of analyze the trailer a bit. We have this angle right here. Very cool. Love that. It is sad that we have this crappy interior. It is what it is. You know, kind of have to accept it. DT6 is coming out 2025. A couple more years and we're going to finally gonna get updated interior for this car. <laughs> oh man. All right. Continuing, we got that guy goes white, red interior, S2 Cabrio, hyper fresh wheels. I like it, I like it. Can't go wrong with a white and red color combo. Of course, S2 Cabrio from the Ocean Drive scene. Jugular, also from the Ocean Drive scene. You see it on like two or three frames from the trailer. Um, Tanver brought this one, from like the like reddish orange. Very nice, titanium exhaust, carbon solars. I love the Jugular. It's a really, really good car. I do wonder, like, what somebody was saying earlier, uh, I, I really hope Rockstar puts a lot of effort into the exhaust notes in GTA 6, because that, that, to me, is a big thing with these cars. Obviously, a nice interior, visuals, you know, exterior, interior, we love to see that, but an exhaust note is really important, too. And, and I think the Jugular, you know, it's the same exhaust note from the XA21, pretty much, um, and, and I, I've always loved the exhaust note of this thing. It just... Sounds so so good. Sounds kind of like a Koenigsegg a little bit. I've always loved the exhaust, and then you get the pops and crackles. You let off the gas. It just sounds so so good. But um, all right, we got TTV Subline with a Furia candy red with the gold wheels. That's one of the best color combos for a car. I, I just you cannot go wrong with that. That's beautiful with the concave Mercies. That's absolutely gorgeous. His plate is moppy. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Of course, the, the Furia uh, is a reference to the scene with the girl uh, kind of standing up on the Zaruso, getting her picture taken by a guy in the Furia. So, love that. Ah, oh, we have a green Hellfire. So this guy, I think he's referencing the um, the street takeover Hellfire from that one scene from the from the trailer with the little donuts and all that in the street takeover scene. That's funny. So subliminal, so he brought that. Green or the black, very cool. Vice on the plate, love to see it. Very, very cool, and you got the race interior and all that. Your car, DCA. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 missing some stuff, but <laughs> I think the wheels are def, and the wheels could be a, I mean, these are more like drag, I guess drag wheels, because you got the larger tire profile, but uh, all right. DC replica. <laughs> Did your 170 come yet, bro? Nope. Probably like late February. Hasn't even been built yet. Supposed supposed to be built on the 18th. I guess we'll see. And then deliver like a couple months after because they got shipping delays and stuff. We got Tactical Gamer. Like I talked about earlier, we only have one other Tulip M100 in this meet. So the reason we allowed this one in the meet is because there was a Tulip M100 in the trailer, but it was a dock. It's the one going into the graffiti scene. That was a Tulip M100. Um, so, very cool. I, I, I do hope we get both variants. I mean, I think it's definitely likely, you know, but I have to wait and see. Wait and see, too. You know what's funny? <laughs> when we see trailers and then we get info from Rockstar about DLCs, we usually only have to wait, what, a couple weeks? You know, we'll see what happens. In this case, it's a couple years. <laughs> a couple years. Oh, man, a couple years. That hurts to say. It's going to be worth it, though. It's going to be worth it. At least there's no more guesswork, right? You know? Before it was like, is GTA 6 a myth? Is it even a thing? Is it GTA? What are they going to call it? You know? But now, you know, at least we have we have a year. We have a name. You know? We have a confirmed city. You know? Everything is, everything is lining up. So at least there, there's plenty of hope. Plenty of hope. All right. So let's uh, do a quick little walk around again. Then I'm going to pick my top three favorites of the meet like I always do. 
Let me just hop over to this side. A little stuck. There we go. So, juggler. Just so many cool cars here. I'm going to do it at this angle. This will be kind of cool. Wait 10 years. Now you have to wait 2 years. Yeah, for real. We, we waited 10 years for a release year. <laughs> 10 years for a release year. Oh, uh... GTA 7 gonna oh yeah geez, forget about that don't even don't even think about GTA 7 you're gonna you're gonna be like you're gonna be we're all gonna be like in our 30s and 40s when that game comes out <laughs> still BS yeah well you know is what it is very good builds here today. I do think I have to be a bit biased though on some of them because some of them are really close to the ones from the trailer. I think I'm I think I'm leaning a bit more towards those. Such I mean, really good builds though too. We're gonna be senior citizens when GTA 7 comes out for real. We're gonna be in retirement homes when GTA 7 comes out. Did you get me that game for my PS10 yet? All right, so. My first place pick, I mean, come on. It's 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 super iconic. It's literally like the car. I mean, it's... I have to give it to Shaggy with the tulip. I mean, he did the plate. He did the outfit. What more do you want? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then Feb made, Feb made Lucio. He made Jace. I mean, it's... It had to be the number one pick. I think we can all agree on that. And he's the only one who brought a tulip. So, that, that kind of worked out. But he went the whole way. Outfit, plate. He did it right. He did it right. Second place pick is going to be running running and running running this one's actually not um really love a build from the trailer i just really like the build um and then i'm gonna give that one to oxivi with this beautiful s2 cabrio i love the green and gold with the um like light tan interior kind of like matching the wheels a bit i think that's just super super sick i i i love this absolutely love this build here and then my third place pick. Man, so many good ones. I think I'm gonna give it to. It's walking, walking. Oh, I think I'm. I think I'm leaning. Not gonna lie. I think I'm leaning towards the green jubilee. I never thought I'd pick a jubilee in my life, but I think I'm leaning a bit towards the green jubilee. To be honest, TBH. Mm. Man, man, man. Oh, yeah, you know. I mean, he did it. He got the wheels and everything. He did it right. Just by, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to the Green Jubilee. I'll give it to the Green Jubilee. Green Jubilee, third place. A, a lot a lot of close cars, not going to lie. But um, can't pick them all, obviously. But, all right. Now we're going to do a little bit of a drive, and then we're going to do a racing playlist that's actually only in this Vespucci Beach area, just so we can kind of like capture that beach, you know, that Miami Beach feel, you know? Obviously, we can only do so much in GTA 5, but I think it'd be really cool to reference that with the racing uh, today as well. All right, so let me hop on my D10 here. Let me get some water really quick. Give me one second, guys. Water. Okay. So, let's go for a little drive here. Here we go. We're going for a cruise, not a speedy drive, a cruise on the path. This is my, my guy's off-roading in his Corvette. And you just cut in front of him. <laughs> oh my god. Going, you're going. This is a bike path, not a road, but I think it's really cool to drive the cars along this. We're gonna keep going through there. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here to like show all the cars driving by. But keep going, just keep going. 
sick shot, sick shot. Awesome. Got some good cars for the DLC. Yeah, I'm hoping we get some good cars for the update. Imagine snowing in... Oh my god, that's gonna be so weird. Snow in Miami? That's gonna be so strange. That's gonna be the weirdest thing. Snow in Miami. I mean, we have snow in GTA 5, which is California, so... But still, it's gonna be it's gonna be funny to see that in a more, like, detailed map. Snow in Miami, hell no, yeah. For, for December, I got that December snow. <laughs> when in, when in Miami the coldest it gets is like fifty degrees, like three days out of the year, really early in the morning. After like ten at ten o'clock in the morning, it's back to like eighty again. <laughs> it's terrible, absolutely terrible. Imagine a GTA Six online launch. Well. It's gonna be crazy regardless, but, but, they're definitely not gonna release it day one. It's probably gonna come out, like, I'm guessing a week later, maybe even a month later, who knows. But it's definitely not gonna release day one. I highly, highly, highly doubt that. But it's gonna be interesting to see, I mean, nothing's gonna be able to handle the influx of people. It, no, it doesn't matter if they have servers, you know, if they have a YouTube servers, they're still not going to be able to, to handle the influx of people day one and online. It's just not going to happen. Does GTA Online car will ever will be in six? Yeah, a lot. Most of the cars we saw in the trailer are from five. What colors are your Buffalo STX wheels? They're just gold. They're the um. The bronze in the wheel color section. Or was it dark copper? I think it was dark copper, actually. When's a DLC trailer? So, I don't think we're getting a DLC trailer this time around. I think we're... I think we're just getting, um... Uh, a news wire on Monday, and that's it. I, I think Rockstar's trying to not take away too much, um... I guess hype from six i think that's the wrong wording but they don't want to like overshadow the uh the gta 6 announcements they have and stuff you know they don't want to put a new trailer right above that one that's kind of what i'm saying so any idea when the gta 6 trailer 2 is only rockstar knows that and we are we're, it's i can i can definitely say it well i can assume I don't think it's going to be for a long, long time. Probably like a year until we get the next GTA 6 trailer. So sit and wait. I do like how they put trailer 1, though. It did the same thing for 5, um, but I do like how they did that. Kind of gives you hope, you know, there's going to be multiple. Which we already know, but at least, at least it's in writing <laughs> this time around. I do like, though, how Rockstar waited, like... All the way till the end, to, to like they tried so hard not to call it six. Like they didn't. <laughs> they were being so crypt. The next GTA, the next installment. Like they didn't want to call it six, but everybody knew it was gonna be six. Cause what else is it gonna be? That name is it's it's already been hyped for so long. Terrible parking. There we go. My rapid blue C8. With my blood stains. <laughs> Love it. Alright, so now we're gonna start up our like Vespucci Beach, you know, kind of um racing playlist themed. So yeah, let's go ahead and start that up. And then we got long haul today, by the way, with the sports cars from the Ocean Drive scene from the GTA 6 trailer. So the the S2 Cabrio, the Jugular. Um, the Carbon is there, you know, all those cars. That's what we're doing for today's long haul via a transform race. That way it's all balanced, you know, because obviously all those cars are, are, are very different in terms of um, their performance. So that's why we did a transform race for that one. All right, we are back to vehicle restrictions this week, by the way. Just, just, just letting you guys know. So vehicle restrictions are back.
Long haul and jeets, obviously. Dude, can you imagine? Oh, no. Imagine the length of long haul and six. Oh, God. Well, that's one lap, though. One lap. Ain't no, no two laps for that. No. No two laps for that. No. Nope. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. But you know what? You know what, though? The cars will do 200, though, right? So, I mean, be a lot quicker. The cars will go over 200. Two laps for GT. <laughs> Three laps. Oh, God. 100 lap long haul. That's, 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 that's worse than Goliath and Forza. Alright. I think I'm going to start it up now. Got nobody else joining. Alright. Let's go ahead and start it up. Waiting for Invisible Man to join. I don't, I, don't, I don't think he's in our crew, though. Yeah, Band Supers. So this guy's not in our crew. Sorry, Invisible Man. You gotta go invisible for a few. Sorry. Alright, let's start it up. We got Band Super. Yeah, I did it without the S. Yeah, there we go. So there are the Band Supercars, guys. Do not pick those. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm going to do Furia or Zaruso. I kind of want to stay with a the theme, you know? How many supercars did we get that we see in the trailer? We saw the Zaruso, the Furia. That's it, right? Or like supercar? I don't think we saw anything else. The other ones were sports cars. The other ones were, were, were sports cars. Oh, the Venador. We saw, but that, that's not in five, though. So I go Furia for now, and then let's see. We go Furia or Zaruso, guys. What do you think? Zaruso or Zaruso or Furia? Furia? I see a lot of Furias. I think I'm gonna stick with the Furia then. Okay, Fury it is. I haven't driven this thing in a long, long time competitively, so wish me luck. I forgot. I, I forgot entirely how this thing drives. Appreciate it, Herbie. Thank you. Here we go. Amp in a Atali GTB. Is that the wide body amp or the regular? The white body. None, none, okay, yeah. That one, that one handles better than the Benny's one. Three is not bad. Oh, that's like a high speed section through there. Well, the brakes are really good on this car. Oh, now we go through. I forgot about this. This part's cool. The track glitches out. Yep, there it goes. But if you look behind you, it appears again. So this is really strange. It's a rock star thing. Very cool. We got two Furias up here. And a Zaruso. Look at that. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. That's a, that's a hell of a, uh, slalom. Curb Boost Nation. That's a hairpin. Well, kind of. Half a hairpin. That's water there, Jesus. Two Furias and a Zaruso still. I love it. Let 
the section through here is pretty cool as well. That's the Russo's quick. I keep forgetting how good the brakes are on this thing. And through this part again. Alligators, yeah. I love how Rockstar emphasizes the alligators because, you know, it's a Florida thing. Here, yeah. So if I show the tail light here in this car, I just turned it on so you can see it. If you compare this to the GTA 6 trailer, it's like completely different. Obviously, you know, different game engine and styling and all that uh, on the tail light is just completely different. Looks a lot better in 6. Have you gotten pulled over? Like in real life? Um, I mean, once. <laughs> pulled over once. And then another time when I wasn't driving, thankfully. <laughs> As a passenger. Furia and Zeruso battle. Who you got? Who you got? Furia or Zeruso? Zeruso is quicker technically, but I'm trying to keep up here. I feel like I'm gonna crash. <laughs> See now with him in front of me, it makes me want to drive more aggressively, and then, then I crash. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Oh, he lost traction. He lost traction. Let's go. In the Viper? No, it was in the Camaro Z01 I used to have. That was a long time ago. Knock on wood. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible, terrible corner. I, I love this though. The fact that we have the Furia and the Zeruso like ah oh, together up here. Like, picture perfect. Picture perfect. Carboost Nation. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> GG's. I think that was a one sub 140 on that, on that lap. That was a good one. Let's see what we got here. So Furia took the dub. GG. Oh, yes, I got under 140. Jeez, that was a really good lap. See what happens when you get in front of me. I gotta drive more aggressively. <laughs> I didn't crash though. That's good. But it, it was gonna happen. It was gonna. I was really close to crashing multiple times in my last lap. Furia for the dub. An OG adder. Oh, that's was, oh, that was racing in the background. But yeah, I ain't gonna pick that. No way. No way. So the Furia was ahead in the trailer and also in this. <laughs> this Motorfest in GTA Six. What? You <laughs> got spindles on the adder. Next up, what class are we thinking? I'm thinking sports classics or sports. I think we should do sports. What do you think, chat? Sports uh, or sports classic for the next one? Or maybe muscle? I think muscle will be cool. I want to pick the Hellfire, actually. I'll have to pick the Hellfire. I need mods for your new demon. I'm not touching a bolt on that thing. It already comes with, with, with way too much power. I don't even know why I'm, I'm buying that thing. <laughs> it has way too much power. <laughs> muscle? Yeah, muscle. I agree. Hellfire is a challenger. It was a challenge to drive, but so not. Is that a pun? The Hellfire is a challenge to drive. <laughs> Why 
When is PS5 Pro coming out? So the PS... Is this locked to open Wii U? What? Oh. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Let's do one lap. Or 99. Let's do... I, the, the, the least amount is three, so I guess we'll do that. This is still here? Follow... Oh. That's still here? What the heck? Well, that's weird. No, I'm doing noon and clear. I ain't doing no nighttime racing in this. You know what? Oh, well, yeah, we're definitely doing on contact. Well, that sucks. Oh, well, it'll go pretty quick on these cars, I think, at least. Well, we'll rip. We'll do muscle on the, on the next one. Somebody joining? What? Oh. Oopsie poopsie for real. The 99. The wine on the 170. Yeah, the wine on the 170 is ridiculous. DCA simps for Lucia. I think everyone simps for Lucia. <laughs> there's no ban up on wheels. Whatever you want. There's never. There's never. They're all. They're all too close to each other anyway. I'm just gonna go for the best one. So. I wonder. That does bring up a question though. Now that we're on the topic, are there gonna be open wheel cars in GTA 6? Because they do have the the new F1 track or whatever in Miami. So I do wonder. Yeah, there's a there's a Miami F1 track that they recently made. So I do wonder if they'll try to incorporate that somehow. Here we go. Oh, I forgot it's this thing. Wait, we're back to the. Uh... I don't even think you can get a boost on this, right? Yeah, you can't get a boot. Oh, you can? A mid-drive! Ah! I wonder if we get boost on the second lap in this. Probably. Oh, I didn't choose my tires either. Whoops. God, these things do not make U-turns. Okay, I forgot you can, like, full throttle most of these corners. God, open-wheel cars are just so weird. In this game, they're weird because they're, like, going so slow, you know, in a straight line. It's just strange in this game. God, this is scary to- this is so scary to drive. Whoa. I, I mean, I know this guy wanted to do like an open wheel track, but he should've- I mean, this is a good track. He should've allowed normal cars too. Yeah, we have the F1 Miami. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go wide on this because this thing does not turn. It, look at it, it barely made it! I, I used like what, six highway lanes and it barely made the U turn. These things suck. These things suck. I mean, they're, they're good. It just depends on the situation, but in general, they do suck. And this is actually the car where they figured out the handling flag situation. So, this car, it uh, curb, curbs do not affect it. Like, they, they don't slow it down or speed it up. Ah, oh, curse boost is enabled now. Sick. I'm not gonna use all of it there, though. Woo! Curse boost. Curse boost. You have to strategize where to use it on this track. Interesting. Oh, I spun out. I completely spun out, bro. What the heck was that? Moment when you spin out in your F1 car. Rest in peace. What's wrong with my car? Hello? Uh, my front splitter is intact. Why does it keep spinning? Well, that's... Well, now I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> now I really broke off the foot splitter. Hamilton spun. <laughs> oh my god. I can't drive F1 cars for beep. Well, I gotta go through the pit lane, so there goes that. I can't drive this thing like this. I was like, crap. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish I could have put one lap. Oh, I missed the pit lane, bruh. 
Whoa. 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 Well, oh, Emperor's right behind me. Oh my god, yeah, I don't know. We, we both have no front splitters, so this should be interesting. I mean, I think, I think like, like this hand looks like a normal card, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like a normal car. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, we can't take corners at, you know, 100 miles an hour, but... Yeah, look at that. It's like a normal driving car now. Except for the stupid understeer slow corners. Stop. Stop understeer. You pile of... Beep. <laughs> I'm so careful here. Perfect. Go up a wheel. Oh, we went seventh. That's not bad. Honestly, I mean, with how badly I crash, I lost the front splitter. That's not too bad. I mean, I was hoping for top five, but that's not bad. That's not bad. That is pretty good. Meet a Ferrari F1 and GTA. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I agree. Rockstar is so brave adding in so many Ferraris lately. With, you know, how crazy Ferrari is about their cease and desist letters and all that crap. Do you think they will show gameplay in the second trailer? I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to get a gameplay trailer until we're really close to launch. So, second one, I doubt it. I think it's just going to be like another, you know, similar trailer. Big crash in second place. Oh man. Which muscle should I bring? Oh, like like for the race? That's not up to you. I'm gonna pick the Hellfire because obviously that's from the uh, trailer and I wanna pick that, so Yeah, no no bias at all, obviously. I hate I hate challengers, you know. I, I don't like Hellcats or demons or any of that crap. All all trash. American car trash. <laughs> I love the Herbie build you did. Oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh, your name's Ayaka. Sick. I did a lot of research on that one, as I do with all the movie builds I used to do. Um, I did pretty... I mean, a lot, a lot of people ask, why don't I do any movie slash TV show build videos anymore? Um, quite honestly, I mean, I already did most of the ones I wanted to do. And then, I guess the interest is not really there anymore, you know? Um, and I, I do, I put a lot of research into, into those, um, I put a lot of research into those videos, you know, I spent a lot of time making those movie and TV show videos and I guess there wasn't really that much interest in it anymore. So, but I had already done most of the cars I wanted to do anyways, and most of the cars you guys wanted to see. So yeah, that's a joke by the way, <laughs> I hate the challenger, but what? <laughs> Hellcats are fire. It's a joke. It's a joke. The choice for Tots video you did was really cool. Appreciate it, man. I, I, that video, that, that was a, that was a pain to make. I had like four GoPros, like eight batteries, different angles, and I, I had. I'm not joking. Let me, let me look back. I think I, I had like. Fifty-five gigabytes of footage, something like that, that I condensed into an eighteen-minute video. <laughs> Was the Gauntlet Classic custom in the trailer? Yes. Yes, it was. Um, it's hard to see, but you know the street takeover scene with the two cars doing donuts? If you look on the top middle, the car on the left with the headlights facing towards you, that's a Gauntlet Classic custom. A lot of people think it's a regular Gauntlet Classic, but it's not. You can see with the headlights, you can see them from up top, whereas if it was the regular uh, Gauntlet Classic, they'd be more enclosed facing down. Because of the way the, the car is designed, you know, like inside of the grill. So that's 100% a Gauntlet Classic custom. And you can see the shaker hood as well, the stock shaker hood. So, yeah. Maybe there's, maybe they're fans of DC. I, I, I was thinking that. I'm like, I'm like, wow, Rockstar, green Hellcat and a street takeover. It was, <laughs> I don't even do that, man. <laughs> 
there are people that aren't in the crew joining it happens sometimes you know un unfortunately with the the playlist thing in rockstar's infinite wisdom you can't kick people after the first race in a playlist just is what it is but we only do like three normal races anyways and then one long haul so it's not that big of a deal We need the E46 M3. I agree. I've been saying that for a while. Rockstar should cut TC. Oh my god, that one guy, the Joker guy, he was complaining. He's like, they used me in the video. They gotta pay me $2 million. I'm like, bro, that's not gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Rockstar, Rockstar has literally battled, like, companies and legal legal battles and they always win they, they, they literally they probably have like the best lawyers I mean, they're literally they're a billion dollar company b the b billion dollar company you, you ain't you ain't gonna do crap the, the, see what you should have done what you should have done was said you, you guys use me in the trailer i would really appreciate a free copy of the game you see maybe rockstar would have done that you know like okay fine you know here here's a free copy but the, the suing multi-million dollar thing yeah yeah bud yeah bud yeah that ain't that ain't gonna happen sorry I'm gonna go my health my health fire remember the banned cars guys oh god you can do golly classic custom too look at that isn't that funny I'm in a green hellfire like the trailer this is actually hilarious this is this is this is this is too good there's an orange one too in the Ocean Drive scene, but the, the takeover one was green. Could have started his own channel. There you go, yeah. Exactly. DCA's the only reason I play on Thursdays. Oh my god. Make a customization video on Jason's tulip from the GTA 6 Interesting. Whoever's in the Buffalo STX, that's a banned car. We can't we can't pick that. We got somebody lagging out. Oh the EVX. Yeah. EVX is banned. The impaler is banned. Or Do you say impaler? It's impaler, right? Is it impaler and yeah, impaler. You know, Allen and a Hellfire as well. Hellfire battle. FA green or Sublime Green? Who you got? Sublime Green adds an extra 10 horsepower, so. Oh, yellow jacket as well. <laughs> Better get first? I I doubt it. <laughs> I, I, even though, well, even though I'm a Mopar fanboy, it, this car is just so difficult to drive. For some reason, I can never get the best out of this car when I drive it. I'm just too cautious. Usually, most people drive it a lot better than I do. Well, that's cool how they incorporated this section here. That's awesome. What it... Oh, let's go. Wow. That is a crazy incorporation this guy did. The creator of this race. That's impressive. And then a hairpin here. Wow. This is an insane track. Like, this is very well thought out. Mid drive. Where is it? A GTX that's banned. You got to pull over. Oh my god. What is that slalom? That's something you got to prep for. Wow, now we're back through here. Jesus. The incorporation of this is crazy. Ooh, lost traction, but I saved it. Saved it. Saved it. What is this? Where am I going? What? Oh. Oh, you're supposed to go that way. Whoops. Okay, this guy this guy should have put he should have put something there. Bruh. That was not a good section there. That was weird. I, I didn't know where to go. <laughs> And my, my mods behind me didn't know where to go either. <laughs> okay, well, let's hope the next lap is better. Oh, 
Oh my god, the brakes were not as good as I like. I was trusting the brakes a lot more than that. Like it's like the brakes were like, I got you, bro. Psych. <laughs> nope. My goal is third. 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 I'm still top five now. I'm like top three. You always want more. Then if you're in top three, you want second. Then you want first. <laughs> this high this high speed section though is really cool. God, this thing does not handle at all. <laughs> I mean, it's not supposed to, but it's so weird. Thank you, Darth Hedgehog, for becoming a member and under car enthusiast. Appreciate it. Remember this corner now. I'm definitely going to remember the next one with that weird section. Oh, through here, okay. This guy really should have put because you're following a road, so like your mind doesn't think to follow that. It's just so weird the way he did that. Come on, Hellfire. Right there. Three No Ah, I was catching up to one more lap. One more lap, I probably could have gotten. They, they, uh, third and second were right there. They were really close, though. I got the best lap. Well, <laughs> I was pushing it. See, that's how you can see how hard I was pushing this car on the second lap <laughs> to catch up. <laughs> I got the best lap. <laughs> oh. I was pushing the hell out of that car, no pun intended. GG though, I'll take the top five. Hey, look at the time between Shaggy and Alan, that's crazy. And final time. Wonder if Rockstar put the Hard Rock Stadium. I was wondering that too. If they put the, the Guitar Hotel. For those of you who don't know, you can Google it. Google um, Florida Guitar Hotel. It's actually a hotel shaped like a guitar. It's, an ins it's insane. I've seen it in person, I've been in there. It's crazy. It's just the hard rock. It's beautiful. I, I really hope they incorporate that into six. That'd be sick. Pushing the hell out of that car. Yep. <laughs> it's in it's in it's in South Florida. It's not in Miami though. Yeah, it's sick. It's super, super sick. And they were gonna do. They were actually gonna do the top part. I, I'm not. I'm not a, in, in, a guitar enthusiast. But uh, what, what, what's the top part of the guitar called? With, uh, with, you know, with a. I don't know what it's called. But they, they were gonna incorporate the top part of the guitar. But there's an airport kind of close to that hotel. So because of the restrictions, they weren't able to. So instead, they did um like lights, the neck. I guess you can call it a neck. Yeah, headstock, whatever, whatever, strings, yeah, heads, it's called a headstock, okay, that part. They wanted to incorporate that, but they couldn't because of the height limitations, so they instead um, did lights at night that kind of like go straight up, and it actually looks really, really cool. Alright, uh, disable, transform, perfect, perfect. All right, catch up street. Perfect. All right, so this is the Ocean Drive scene themed transform race with the sports cars and sports classics cars from that scene. So it is going to be the Carbon is there, uh, Cheetah Classic S2 Cabrio, the D10, and the Jugular. But it's transform, so that way we don't have um, different performing vehicles, you know, throughout the race. I did a transform instead. 
That way, you know, everybody's on the same car throughout the race. Can DCA play the guitar? Fun fact, I actually did take lessons back when I was, like, in middle school. But I, um, I just never got into it. I don't know. I didn't really enjoy it. I, th I thought I would. It just wasn't my thing, you know? And in life, you, you try different things and, you know, it's just not for you. So that was, that was just one of those things in my case. What you like on your sandwich? <laughs> I'm not a picky guy, man. I, 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 you know, I, I do like a um, some some ham, some salami, maybe, you know. Nah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm not I'm not too much into like putting cheese on my sandwiches unless it's like a burger or something. Digital rock addict. Oh my god. People were saying rod wave. <laughs> That one guy for that scene, that's funny. So we're starting off again in the Carbon is Air, as you can see. So Carbon is Air is the first car, and then throughout we have the Transform Race checkpoints. Can DCA play basketball? I used to play a little casual, you know, not competitive run a team or anything, but I used to play some casual bas basketball with friends and stuff in middle school. How many times you saw an alligator in your house? Zero. <laughs> That's more of a thing you see in houses that are closer to like the Everglades, like in Homestead and stuff. Here we go. Oh, I should have put the top down. Mid drive. Dude, the carbon is there. Sounds so good. Like all of them together. Sounds really, really cool. Dude, all these carbon is theirs. Like, they sound so cool, man, together. I love it. I love it. Ferrari. Ferrari. How many peacocks and iguanas have you been your front door? <laughs> There's actually a lot of iguanas in my neighborhood for some reason. You know what I did notice on the trailer the other day when I was I was looking at it a bit closer? The Ocean Drive scene, you know the, the homeless guy sitting down close to the S2 cat Rio? There's an iguana on his shoulder. I, I just noticed that yesterday. Well, that's kind of cool. Ow. Are you manually or automatically blinking right now? Oh my god. Love your car breakdowns content. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. That video, by the way, guys. That, <laughs> the trailer breakdown video. That, that video took me 12 hours to make. I know. 12 hours straight. I was... I was... Like, I didn't expect it to take me that long. But, I mean, afterwards, I, I guess it kind of made sense because there was just so much content, you know, in, in, in um, like, what, a minute and 20 seconds worth of, of content um, to go through. It just, that was, that was painful to edit, to say the least. Like, it was fun to find everything, but then putting it all in a video was, that, that was very, very time consuming. My script for that video was, like, four pages with no spaces. Can't wait to pull up to Broward. Yeah, Broward. Here we go. What do we got now? S2 cab. Let's go. We got petrol ahead of the super chat. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Looks like you'll be able to use gas stations in six. Pull your car up, hopefully. I didn't I didn't notice that on the trailer. I don't know about that. I mean, it's possible you might see AIs putting fuel, but I doubt that's going to be a thing for your character. That might just, that might be a new like AI thing though, you know? They pull up to the gas station, they put the the you know the fuel pump, you know, the handle in there. Oh, so it, it might be like an AI thing. Hopefully, the Aventador S car is a new Infernus. Oh, that's that's a good theory. That that probably is a new Infernus. Fix you, you're good, or or not. Love this blue. 
Robert is where all the blood but I'm oh my god. Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Oh my god. The F A Tributo. I, I saw it in person at the, the the car event I went to um, last week. That that car in person is is gorgeous. Let me tell you, the F A Tributo was a classy Ferrari. It, it's a really really good looking car. I'm not gonna lie. So I I'm actually kind of excited that Rex was adding into the game. After seeing it in person, I was like, you know what? This is actually a really good looking car. The S2 cabs have a really high top speed, but the handling kind of sucks. SF90 so slept on. Not really. Not really that slept on, but it is a weird looking car. I actually prefer the way the F8 looks more than the SF90, personally. Just styling, styling wise. We got Arrogant Specialist, cool name. Appreciate the super chat, dude. Says the carbon is there returning. I personally find funny because it's replacement. Yeah, I know. Its replacement is supposed to be of a Stinger TT, but it's still in the and it's still in the game. I don't understand that. It is, it is going to be weird though. Like, I don't know. Alan's saying it's just a placeholder, but I think at this point, I don't think Rockstar is going to do that. They've been making this game for ten years. I don't think there's just placeholders. I don't know. I don't know. It is weird though seeing an AI traffic car, like, as an, the same GTA 5 AI traffic car. That's just weird. How did you die, Imp? <laughs> We're the Cheetah Classic now. You listen to corn? I don't know what that is. What's your favorite childhood game? I think I think the NFS series, you know? The NFS series, also the TDU one, a Midnight Club, you know, oh, just amazing. Yeah, Midnight Club three, TDU one, um, NFS, th those were the best childhood games, man. Obviously, I've always been into the car games. Do you use a pressure washer to wash your cars? Yes, but I use an electric one because it's less pressure than a gas one and it's also a little more like um, precise and I get like a lower PSI one that way I can't make a mistake and take paint off <laughs> What's your oldest your oldest cars you saw arrow? The oldest car I've seen? I mean, I think I've seen a Model T. So probably that, I guess. <laughs> I use... Do I use the Ryobi one? It's... I know I use Sunjo. My, my power washer, the electric one, is Sunjo. I got it off Amazon a long time ago. I've had it now for like, man. Let me think. I mean, I've had I've had it for like five years. Five years, like five years. I've had the um, the pressure washer, zero issues, <laughs> zero issues. And it's an Amazon, and I bought it off Amazon for, I think for like a hundred and hundred and fifty, I think something like that. The F8 in the screenshot for the next update looks to be a hardtop convertible. Um, I don't know about that. It looks like a coupe to me. Maybe it's just like a like a different carbon roof or something. Now we're in the D10s. Also, thank you for a three month member. Appreciate it. Oh my god. I love it when other people crash and mess me up. This is fantastic. <laughs> Shout out, bro. <laughs> breaks, 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 breaks. Love to see a Cabrio Vigero. Huh, yeah, just con yeah, that'd be nice. Convertible 69 Camaro, yeah. 
F8 Tributo and F8 Green. Oh, God. What is your IRL car? I really want to know because I might make it if it's in GTS. So I can show you. <laughs> you can check my Instagram. Um, or if you haven't seen my... I have a separate vlog channel for those of you who don't know. So I post all my IRL content on that YouTube channel. So it's Mr. Car Addict. And it's in the... Uh, the description or the pinned comment of pretty much all of my my past videos on my channel here so so I, I just posted a video today actually so I took my Viper to a um, a toy rally event that was really really fun like 400 exotic cars with the cops and everything police escort absolutely wild so that's on my channel if you guys haven't seen it if you want to check it out Oh boy, brake. Yeah, the brakes on the D10 are not that great. The handling on the D10 is also kind of... Feb. 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 Your Corvette is red, but why is the interior bright yellow? <laughs> oh, you're in a stock one. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, there's no way you customize that like that. <laughs> there's no... There's no way you customize that like that. Kind of like Escalade V. Oof. Yeah, that'd be nice. I do have... I mean, it's... Calocate is a thing. It's possible. My Instagram is digital car addict with spaces... I mean, with underscores instead of spaces. With digital underscore car underscore addict. In hindsight, I should have named it just digital car addict altogether, but... It is what it is. If the D10 is like... Rockstar, the performance they gave this car is the opposite of what it is in real life. So in real life, it's a quick accelerating car with good handling and terrible top speed, right? And then in GTA, they gave it a good top speed, crappy handling and crappy acceleration. They're like the complete opposite. It's just so weird. What toys did you buy for the kids? It definitely wasn't RC cars. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wasn't a RC car. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Butler and GTA is like, oh my god. Because I have no food, I'm homeless. What? Bruh, chill, man. Chill. I really hope that's not true, though, man. I'm sorry if that's actually happened to you. Now we're in arguably the best for last of the group. Well, I think we can agree on the best sounding. Jugulars. Love it. Yeah, I know, there was a million Eurus in that event. Like, everywhere. Eurus and Huracans. Lester Crest returns in GTA 6. Oh my god, can you imagine? <coughs> Who are we gonna call in, um... In GTA 6 when we have cop issues? It's not gonna be Lester. I mean, a new guy. Call Roger. <laughs> Get the cops off of you. Michael should return. And it would be. I. I think. I think it'd be cool if Rockstar somehow finds a way to get. GTA 5 characters to return in 6. Like, I, I honestly wouldn't mind that. I, I, know, I know they should start on a clean slate, but I, I wouldn't mind that. We have so much, you know, a connection with GTA 5 when we've been playing it for 10 years. Sorry, Alan. Sorry. Um, that... I, mean, I, th I think it'd be cool for that, like, nostalgia factor. Back to the Carbon is there. This car sounds so good, too. Watch it be Lester again. Oh my god, please no. Did you miss me? 
You're basically screaming in your ear in the heist. What are you doing? Drill faster! You're overheating the drill! Yes, I can see my luster. Thank you. You're running out of time! I, I can see the time, Lester. Thank you. Woo! Oh, the carpet there does the wall ride very well. Light. An impression was gold. <laughs> Omar, you're freaking me out a bit, man. You're freaking me out. <laughs> Lester voice is funny. <laughs> I feel like pulling over and taking the uh, the top down on this car. Franklin and G's, oh my god. I forget that exactly, Florida man. <laughs> uh, there are some characters I don't want to see, and it's like Laszlo, yeah, I know. I don't, I don't want to see... Uh, what's his name? Um, it's a Santa and the other guy. I don't want to see them in, in, in six. Yeah, KDJ or Sasanta, please no. Honestly, I don't want to see Lester either. He's a bit annoying. Huh. English Dave? Oh, God. He is a bit annoying, too. Oh, God, no. Imagine an... That'd be funny in it. An Andrew Tate like parody podcast and say that'd be pretty funny. They're probably gonna reference that, I wouldn't doubt it. Is Nightbot working? I don't think so. Oh, it did work with the commands earlier, so. What's up, Stevie? I'm finally gonna do another drift meet when the new drift cars release? Probably, yeah. We got three of the safe color up here. That's funny. And so a long time ago, when Emperor was allegedly doing the, uh, you know, the story mode cars to online method thing, um, he was wanting to help us out, you know, give us, like, certain car builds and stuff. But obviously, it got kind of crazy with the Drift Feed cars releasing, and it was, like, ten of us. So he's like, you know what? You guys all decide on us on a color, and then I'm going to add that one, and then all of you get the same car. So we, <laughs> we have three of that blue up here, S2 Cabrio. Call creepy out Uncle Lester, yeah. Using the porch, yep. Ow. I thought you were used to driving little convertibles light. You should be driving that thing like a pro. <laughs> when did the porch thing start? I'm confused. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a Dornier thing. He put the plate. You're on my porch. Ow, 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 ow. Shop and GTA 6. I don't think it was. I saw that part with the the cops or whatever. I, I think that's just, you know, uh, generic, you know, like guard dog type of caution sign thing. Porch Boxster. <laughs> oh my god. We got Petrol Head with a super chat. Appreciate it. I wonder if we're finally going to finish the story with Karen, a.k.a. Michelle. We can finally put her down on the next game. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows, honestly? Rockstar like, likes leaving doors open. 
I don't know what happened there. But you went really wide on that corner, and that guy just flipped into me. That was kind of crazy. Bump boost. The cheetah's so cool. Love the cheetah. The one in six looks a lot better, though, I will admit. DCA's cat and GCA's. Oh my god. Imagine if they give us a Durango and. Oh, that'd be nice. We need a better looking Enzo. Yes, we do. I agree on that. We need a better looking modern Cheetah. Even though at this point, it'd probably just be. What would it be? Because the Cheetah's based on the Enzo mixed with the GTA Spano, right? The OG Cheetah. And then the. The one in the old games was based on the Ferrari 360, so what would it be? I mean, there's just so many different Ferrari variants they keep adding with new names. Omaggio, Turismo. Actually, no, Turismo was a 360, actually. Hmm. I don't know. M maybe they'll do a La Ferrari as the, as the Cheetah in the next one, the regular Cheetah. Maybe the SF90? I'll just replace the RSX. Who knows? An F50. Probably not, but I love the F50. Yeah. We need a proper LaFerrari. The Turismo R is nice, but it's... It's got some styling elements from the... Oh my god. Oh my god. Very minor selling elements, though. <laughs> Jesus. When three Sheeta classics love each other very, very much. <laughs> the nowhere to go police officer returns to GTA. <laughs> Those are funny. I, I, I love, I love all, the, all, the, all the curse words the cops shout out when they're trying to catch you. They're hilarious. Killing makes my, you know what? All, all the phrases are funny. We got Randy with a super chat. Appreciate it. You probably don't remember me, but it's Lester. <laughs> Lester. You s that Lester from? I'm trying to think. Your name looks familiar. Ah. Uh, I can't. I'm trying to remember. You give me like a reference or something? <laughs> Have you checked out other GTA 5 YouTubers? Yeah, of course. I, I talk to different YouTubers, professional, Gilly Master. I, I talk to a lot of the different guys there. Well, the guys in the community, I should say. Breaks, 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 breaks. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. They, they did kind of reference that with Lucia, where the, um, the interview lady in the prison asked her... Lucia, do you know why you're here? And she's like, I don't know, bad luck, I guess. So, in Michael's case, it was, why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Kind of similar. C kind, of, kind of a cool reference. <laughs> you send another crew invite after... Yeah, just fill out the form again, and then you'll get another crew invite. What's up? Oh. You think Jason will be a descendant of John Mart? I don't think so. Oh, I think he's saying what it would be like if Lester he returned in GTA. Oh, I misunderstood that completely. I am, I am, I'm, I took that as like a direct. <laughs> My bad. My bad. What's funny is they're going to update the phone too. We're not going to have this whole thing anymore. We're gonna, probably going to update that as well. It's funny how this still looks kind of relevant today. You know, with the apps and stuff. Still looks, still looks kind of.
me a, a new iFruit phone. <laughs> It'd be funny if, if they let us pick Android or iFruit. Maybe they'll do like a uh, like a little option where you can select what layout you want. I think in GTA it's just called Droid, right? I think an Android reference. Yeah, just Droid. So they'll have Droid and iFruit. First person, slipstream. Let's see what speed we get in slipstream. One sixty-three. As I do that, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Doing good. I fruit fifteen. Oh my gosh. Where was Motorola? Oh yeah, it was Motorola's branding. Yeah. If Feb spun you out, it was an accident. He doesn't. He doesn't do that. Typically, if you're getting spun out, it, it's it's because of somebody hitting them into you. It's not them like, f like f you know, trying to hit you on purpose. Light. Make sure you you know, ride normally in the end. Aero gas station. Oh yeah, they did reference that. Here we go, and jugular time. Oh. Woo! I got my jag. <laughs> jag. I food 17 starting bro oh my god. You know what would be funny if Rockstar were to do? Like with every DLC that comes out or like once a year in December, they introduce a new like phone layout for your character and they charge like a million dollars for it. That'd be funny. Oh my god, I almost died. Bruh! That failed. Oh, here we go. Last corner. Well, last couple corners. Bruh! Francisco, what are you doing, man? You drunk? You drunk driving? <laughs> Discord in the phone? That'd be funny. And back to the Ferrari noises for like one tube section. <laughs> oh, look at all the red carbon is there. <laughs> That's the only right color for this car. I am so scared right now. We're being so cautious. Oh my. No! Somebody sp- And that messed me up. That is fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Whoever that guy was to spun out light, screw you. Screw you, dude. Alvin got first. Nice. Rip, rip, rip. What's wrong with her now, mechanic? <laughs> That's a new long haul? Yeah, he done made this one like eight months ago, I think. <laughs> the, the emoji with the thing. Oh my god. I'm going back to see who that was. I have to see who that was. Let's see. I'm looking back through the footage here. I want to see who, who that was. Oh yeah, it was Shaggy. So it didn't, it didn't, it didn't hit him on your screen, or you did hit him on your screen. He said on his screen it didn't hit him. Ah, oh. well that's nice. <laughs> that's nice.
Ah, well, that sucks. It is what it is. Do you say not finishing in first? No. Ah, rest in peace. GG's. I was right there. It is what it is. Wow, Ruby really likes the carbon is there. It's actually it's the best car, you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Ritz said Ritz said everyone wants to go on the website and buy it right now. It's such a good car. Well the joke is it's not on the website anymore. <laughs> Even if you find it on the street, you can't store it because it's a hot car. Rockstar Logic. You know what's funny? When you drive a hot car to the customs, it says, too hot to modify, buy it online, right? But you can't go online and buy it because it's not there anymore. <laughs> oh, Rockstar. Rockstar. Rockstar is so funny. Rockstar is so funny. Oh, man. Land it, land it, somewhat. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the... I actually want to show it on stream, actually, before I leave. Because we got the customs right here. Let me get a hot car. Let's see. Uh, I don't think there's any hot cars in this area. Mm, maybe? Nope. They're all, they're, all, they're all premium cars here. I actually want to show what it says. Oh, bruh. They're all hot cars here. We're about to do the two-month milestone message last month. <laughs> Appreciate it. Like, no hot cars here, bruh. I have to go to, like, the main city for that. Oh, oh! Infernus. The Infernus. Yeah, so this, is a, this is a remove car. An OG Infernus. My guy. My guy. Bruh. Wow. I'm just gonna shoot him out of his car. Hope it doesn't despawn. It might despawn. There's a coquette. I want the Infernus though. Is it gonna despawn? Oh, he's driving fast. I should have just grabbed the coquette. And I think I just passed the line F, but I'm so angry with this guy that I wanna steal his car. What the heck is this, man? You have bad aim, DCA. There we go. I'm a car guy, not a uh, first-person shooter guy. Okay, here we go. All right. We got it. So now I can show. I think I wanted to show. Appreciate the super chat, Czar. Appreciate it. What car should be in GTA 6? All the good ones. I, I just want to see newer variants. There you go. See, look. This vehicle is too hot to modify. Purchase high-end vehicles online. But, but, we go online, Rockstar. We've got Legendary Motorsport. We've got a two-door. Filter it. And guess what? Rockstar, there's no Infernus here. That's false advertising, bro. Can't even buy it. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Rockstar. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the GTA 6 trailer car meet. Obviously, we, we won't have another one of these to do again until we get a second trailer. So it's going to be probably a long time until then. But, uh, stuck in this corner here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, again, hope you enjoyed. Remember that I do these streams every single Saturday, alternate between PS5 and Series X slash X um, every week. Have a great night, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.